Uh, good morning, lady. Well, actually, it's afternoon. It's about uh, 1.39. And on Monday, June 27, 2011, here in Florida. This is the Gray Eagle, and this is the Prophecy Report. And we have another rock and rolling weekend. Week of uh, prophecy uh, fulfilling news this week. So, uh, shall we get started as soon as I have a uh, sup of my uh, favorite, Florida Orange Juice? See? Color orange, orange juice. I'm dry mouth. I have to drink a lot of uh, uh, liquids to keep my mouth moist. Thank you. Uh, this uh, first article involves uh, Matthew 24-7. A uh, 7.2 earthquake was uh, recorded last week in uh, the Aleutian Islands. Actually, it was, uh, if you look at the uh, iris uh, seismic monitor, uh, it's uh, almost directly, uh, almost exactly in between Russia and the U.S. now. I wondered then if when I seen that, will this have some kind of prophetic implications of uh, Gog Magog uh, war between Russia and whoever else? Uh, maybe the United States might be in, uh, included in that because, you know, uh, years ago, uh, oh, this is probably 30 years ago, maybe 40. I read a news article where, and so somehow or another I remember it. I don't have much memory, but somehow or another I remember it. They said that uh, before they attack Israel, they must take down the United States because we are the uh, uh, strongest ally of Israel. Well, of course, we're hoping that doesn't happen, but uh, if they go after Israel, it's... Uh, highly likely, in my opinion, that they might want to try and take down Russia now. Uh, or not Russia, but the U.S., because we are so heavily allied with Israel. Okay, that's uh, that uh, article. Uh, Matthew 10.22. Uh, there's an article here, uh, a video here on YouTube, and uh, apparently some congressperson claims that Christian militants, now that's her term, might attempt to take down the U.S. government. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, let me uh, state they have no, uh, Christian militants, to my opinion, have no uh, infrastructure or whatever you call it. They have the too loosely uh, They don't have the network to uh, pull off something like that. So, uh, Christians trying to take down America, probably going to be the shortest uh, book on the uh, library shelves. But anyway, if you want to read the article, or uh, see the video, rather, uh, this is the uh, YouTube search terms. Likens Islamic Radicals to Christian Militants. You type that into YouTube search and you'll get the article or the uh, video. All right, uh, this next one comes up from right here in my home burg, my home 20, Pinellas County, Florida, uh, Revelation 18:13, Slaves and Souls of Men. Seems a man up there in Largo, it's a little north of me. Uh, in fact, I used to work up there, my uncle's car wash up there, and uh, so I know a few folks up there in Largo. Some of them were not so nice people, too. Uh, and this is one of them. This guy has uh, been uh, apparently uh, uh, white slaving some woman up there. Uh, anyway, he was arrested uh, for uh, trafficking in humans. Key words to read this article is right here on one of our local uh, newspapers, tbo.com. Uh, key words are Largo Police Human Trafficking. That's Largo Police, human trafficking. Okay, and you thought slavery was put to an end. Eh, not hardly. It's one of the biggest signs of the end times. Revelation 18, 13, in fact. Now under Daniel 12, 4, knowledge increasing. 
there's some kind of new camera on the market that gives a much better focus. Uh, they say it's going to change the photography forever. Keywords for this article? Camera change, photography forever. Now, under Jeremiah 50, 37, the heading, this concerns the economy, right here, another one right here on YouTube, uh, type into YouTube search, signs, it's game over. This is a kind of a disturbing article, but uh, uh, we've been knowing this is, you know, you can't go on uh, borrowing and spending forever. And uh, we've known for a long time that uh, the economy is going to come down, how far it crashes and how uh, how much, how uh, quickly it's able to recover is anybody's guess. But uh, this is a good video. It's actually Lindsey Williams. He's a pastor being interviewed. Okay. Okay, type into YouTube signs. It's game over. If you have difficulty finding it, put uh, the game over in uh, single quotation marks, not the double quotation marks. All right, the next article is Matthew 24, 6. And to read this article, use keywords French-Russian-UK Sailors Training. That's French-Russian-UK Sailors Training. Apparently the uh, French-Russian and uh, United Kingdom sailors are uh, uh, having some kind of, uh, what do they call it, exercises, training exercises. Now, uh, I want to emphasize that uh, uh, these signs of the end times is not a uh, gloom and doom message. It's a message of hope that our Creator, our Jesus, is coming back soon. Because all these articles fulfill the end times uh, prophecies that the Lord told us, prove the promise of His coming is indeed near. Because Jesus said in Luke 21:28. And when these things begin to come to pass, look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draws near. Now, that's what I'm looking for. Jesus coming for us. That's a message of great hope. That's not gloom and doom, as uh, uh, some of our uh, detractors would uh, have us to believe. Now we're going to wrap up with the Bible verse of the week. Psalm 94:20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frames mischief by a law? good idea to uh, read that whole uh, uh, chapter and uh, get the uh, meaning of it in context. So remember to trust Jesus today. The time is too short, I'm afraid. You may not be able to trust him tomorrow, and you just trust him by calling upon his name. Ask him to forgive you and save you. That's all you have to do, but you got to mean business. There's more information on that in the description box. Till next week, keep on trucking for the Lord. The eagle is out. But I'll be back, if the Lord will be willing, and the creek don't rise. <laughs>